Hey everybody, we are back with We Know The Rock. It's Nate and Emily. Today we are actually talking about the North Winton Village area of Rochester, New York. Nathan actually lives in that area, so he we took a lot of really good footage that we're going to go over later, um, and he's going to talk about the great parks in the area. Um, we ate at Winfield Grill. Yep. Um, I had the seafood bisque. And Nathan had the salad. I had a salad today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, trying to keep a little healthy. But they have all kinds of amazing, uh, they have a huge menu there. It's obvious, obviously one of the staples mm -hmm. in uh, the Rochester, in the North Whitten Village neighborhood. So it's kind of everybody can kind of knows where that place is and get to it pretty quickly. There's also um, several other little restaurants in that little villagey area. Um, but Winfields is awesome. They got, a, you know, tons of screens. If you're into sports, they have, um, they've really gone above and beyond. In uh, making sure that the experience is safe, and uh, they have, you know, uh, they've set up uh, different areas for stations at the bar, so you can still enjoy a drink with a uh, with somebody in your party, but you're not necessarily you're social distancing, you're not necessarily, um, you know, all uh, collectively together. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, they've uh, spaced out all the tables, so they've really gone above and beyond at making it a, 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 a safe experience. Um, while indoor dining as we're getting close into the spring. So yeah, just that's kind of the central uh, spot of, of North Winton Village. Um, really the geographic location is from uh, the Rondecoit line. Actually, it goes a little bit past the Rondecoit line up to like Empire Boulevard area. Um, and then all of the streets that kind of go from there over to Culver Road, that's kind of the North Winton Village spot. So, and then it goes as far south as uh, the Aldi, uh, which is our brand new Aldi we have. Um, there's a new PetSmart there. There's dry cleaners right around the corner. There's a hardware shop that's fantastic. Um, has all, it's, it's an amazing uh, local bit, locally owned hardware shop. Um, you have obviously close to uh, East Avenue Wegmans. Um, and then you can really get 15, 20 minutes, you can get anywhere in the Rochester, Rochester area. So it's really a great, um, great neighborhood. Uh, obviously I live there and um, uh, really love to be able to um, walk around. It's a walkable neighborhood. For those of you that don't know, there's a new drinking game we've, we've, uh, <laughs> we've created, which is called the walkable uh, walkable neighborhood. So apparently Emily noticed that when she's editing these videos, she I say walkable neighborhood a lot. So for those of you, I, I've, I've probably said it four or five times now. So for those of you who want to take a shot or a drink, Every time I um, say the word walkable neighborhood, um, <laughs> this is a great place to, you know, have a little party game going on. So, um, but it really is a good walkable neighborhood um, because you can get, you can go all over the place. Um, and by uh, it's, and by walking in the walkable <laughs> neighborhoods. So now if you guys are uh, completely hammered, <laughs> we'll get down to business. Oh, um, there's all kinds of uh, great parks there. Tryon Park is fantastic if you really like to, um, hike if you like to mountain bike. It's got um, internet. It connects with a lot of the other um, uh, parks that are in and around the bay, the Irondequoit Bay area. Um, so you can hike for hours at a time uh, back there. It's really awesome. Um, that's where I take little Ray Ray, our uh, forty-five pound golden doodle. She's <laughs> going to be five. Cinco de Rayo is coming up. Our little, our little uh, um, uh, birthday party for her. Um, but it's really a great place. Uh, houses are all about mostly colonials. There are some ranches um, there as well, um, and uh, it's uh, kind of sandwiched. A lot sandwich. of Cape Cods. Too. A lot of Cape Cods. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of a mix. So there's really all kind. It's it's all kinds of different houses in there, and they range from you know on the small side, thousand square feet, up to eighteen hundred um, to two thousand square feet. Um, so again, really uh, a lot of us you know forties around the forties, nineteen um, forties built. Um, and uh, really, it's kind of one of those neighborhoods that's experienced a growth over the last uh, 10 years or so, um, because it's kind of a, 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 the next step um, out of the city, uh, out of the more denser parts of the city. So um, you have a nice little back, you have nice little backyards there. Again, walkable neighborhood. <laughs> um, and it's enough to, they're, you know, small, you know, three bedroom, four bedroom uh, houses. So a great, great spot. So all right, so um, now we're gonna, you know, this part of the podcast, we always go over uh, some um, something about the market mm -hmm. um, currently, and we uh, try to keep this as evergreen as possible, um, so that way people go back to this uh, years from now, and um, you know, learn a little bit more about North Wind Village, but also kind of how the market kind of operates in the Rochester area. So mm -hmm. typically, um, you know, Emily, tell us a little bit about uh, how the market operates, um, how we get it, how do we, on a yearly basis, starting from January to, to December, mm -hmm. how does it all work? So the spring market usually starts around mid-February and ends around 
end of June, July. Um, from there, we start to get into the school season, kind of see a little break because people are preparing for their kids to enter school. And then it picks back up again around, what, October, November? Yeah, so say? people are going to do, you know, in a normal market, people are going to do like their summer breaks. So like, mm -hmm. you know, J July, August, they'll probably get in there, some of their last minute um, summer breaks or uh, uh, vacations going on. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a little bit of a lull when school starts in, in September. Um, and it kind of picks up towards the end, um, mm -hmm. cruises around uh, October. So then like November, you, you typically will kind of have a nice push up until um, uh, the holiday season, Thanksgiving. Um, and then, you know, holidays are kind of 50-50. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's definitely inventory that comes on the market. And definitely a lot of opportunities out there. Um, so really it's a, it's a year long market, but there's, you know, different things that kind of come in and come out, um, and different opportunities that you can take advantage of throughout the year. So mm -hmm. for example, if, you know, if you're a buyer, you really want to take it, take advantage of, um, properties in the springtime, you got to get it all set up so that you, that way you're not trying to get your kids enrolled in school yep. before the start of the school year. So, um, if you are, don't have any kids at the moment and you're just looking for your first house, it's really, you know, it doesn't really matter at now. Uh, it just kind of depends on what type of inventory is out there. So the enrollment for school here in um, Rochester, New York, is around April is when the enrollment deadline begins. Mm -hmm. So just a heads up: if you do have kids and you're here now, um, you'll want to get them enrolled quickly. We also have the book um, Facts and Figures too that we can give to you as well. If you message us at the email address at the end of this video, mm -hmm. we will send you a copy of that book. We get one every year. It's extremely helpful if you are indecisive of what school district you want your kids to be in it's a great informative tool totally for parents totally. or future parents yeah um all right did we miss anything i think we're all i think that pretty much covered it so mm -hmm. uh, as always we appreciate everybody watching this uh please share because it helps us get the word out mm -hmm. uh please share with your friends your family um and uh, just on your social media networks in general uh, we would love to be able to kind of keep the getting the word out to people uh, because we really do know the rock and we do like to uh, share the good news about The Rock. So um, we'll come back at you with a new location, fantastic location in the Rochester area. And as spring comes up, we'll start to highlight more waterfront stuff or spring yeah. and summer, you know, waterfront um, dining and all the different options, rooftop dining that, that's, about, that's available out there. Yeah. And as we continue to open up, um, we hope, uh, hope everybody uh, is uh, safe out there um, and, uh, you know, gets their vaccine and everything is, uh, as we, as we continue to open up, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have a fantastic spring and summer and, uh, all your real estate needs, uh, please keep it locked to, we know the rock and we will be here for all your real estate needs. Say that last part one more time. We're always too busy for any, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're always too busy. <laughs> We're never too busy. We're not. And so thank you. So, you know, and just so you remember, <laughs> we're always too busy. <laughs> oh my All God. right. All right. And make and, sure you sub. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we are never too busy for your referrals. Share this video with your friends and family. And we hope to see you guys next week. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity. See ya.